Sorry, chat. I fixed it. Honey, I can stay back. I like how you moved before, then moved it back. Don't worry. The only thing that is good about Tanya is when she's next to um, either Dagda or Hawthorne, they actually perform a bit better in combat. Oh. She doesn't have to be like right next to them, she just has to be within the spaces of them. Freaking Dagda! Not that Dagda needs it or anything. <laughs> Also try capturing some enemies. Why not? You get an axe that's not hammer. <laughs> Hammer's pretty terrible. That's so good. Well, that was easy. <laughs> Yo, like our gods, like so you can fix. It might only be me, right? So, one thing about sand... Um, yeah. Oh yeah, that's right, it of, reduces your movement. Yeah, but especially for horses. So you can actually... Okay, well, Finn, no. But if you let Finn get off his horse, he'll actually move better. Oh. Yep. Who knows what they're doing? Well, Dag does only an enemy's movement speed will be reduced. But you can trade with the enemy. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, like, tra you, we, there's a trade command which you can take the enemy stuff, and then there's a free command where you can just let the enemy go. Oh, okay. So, yeah. That's how capturing works. It's oh. pretty useful. I found oh, yeah, that's who that guy is. <laughs> Yeah, that's a, um, that's a promoted unit. He's like Dagdar. Oh no. He's not as good as Dagdar though, but okay. he's pretty good. <laughs> Uh-oh. Does often have his Pookie equipped? About to find out. Yeah. Well, there we go. <laughs> Swift and imminent demise. Now, if you, I don't know if you can capture him, you probably can, but he does have a torch on him. His equipment, but you probably shouldn't try for it because you don't connect with the fight. Okay. He's dead. What? Wow. Oh yeah. Like I said, he's a promoted unit. Yeah. Um, you get a lot of experience with that. Okay. Yeah. There's actually two of those guys in this map. One of them's nearly in the map. So be wary. Okay. Yeah. Likes to take extra turns. Yup. Oh, there's like nothing here. Yeah. However, um, that little fort up there. Yeah. Um, right next to it on that black square, there's another fort. Yeah. And if you rest a unit on that turn, you get a torch. Okay. These mountains, man. There's another fort down the left side. Okay. I also try and move Finn, but move your guys up back. Get some support in the front. Yeah.
Okay. Rona would have died from that attack. Would he have? Yeah. I'm just saying, you're leading with an archer. <laughs> it's, it's okay. Got this. Walton would have also died if he got hit. What, what is that? Uh, that means he leveled up his axe rank. Uh, meaning he can use higher level axes. Oh, cool. So, one thing you should do. Yeah. Um, you should trade the items that the Dagda got from the one guy and then release the guy so Dagda doesn't have a reduced movement speed anymore. <laughs> so, you can take his hand axe. There okay. you go. Oh, there should be a free option. There you go. <laughs> now Dagda can move. Now you can move faster? Yeah. So, you want to move Ivel up to get the torch if you want it. There's actually no outlet over there, so that fort right there. Yeah, I see it. There's no outlet over there, so there's no reason to take your guys down that way. Uh, this map is so bizarre. Yo. And then Othan dies. He did it. I don't know about what's good about you, but yeah, he's looking a bit weak. <laughs> How do I <laughs> item? There it is. Doc. Doc? <laughs> I love this room's magic. There. Nothing's good. The other one. There's the other one? Yeah, there's the other one. Oh. That works. Yay. <laughs> there you go. Yay. Yeah, Torch <laughs> well, well, I'm, I'm sure Torch does, uh, will, will help. What Torches do is they extend your uh, unit's sight range to basically to 8. Okay. And then it decreases every turn. Until oh. It's back to level 3. That's... By the way, you can move your, like, fin and stuff. They're not stuck there. You can right. just collect spaces. There. Oh no, I was just kind of having them chill in the back. Back? Yeah. I don't remember if reinforcement spawn. They might. What's over here? Oh. Oh. Yeah. Your goal is across that bridge and up. Okay. I'm not sure if you remember from last week, but that's where the conversation with the boss of the chapter was. Okay. see. Yes, you can see. You can also scroll and see how big this map is. Oh. Not too big. Nope. I'm sure they get bigger. Oh, uh, there's a couple really big maps. I think this might be the biggest dark map, though. Okay. Maybe 24x is bigger. But... Dark maps where no, are usually really small in this game. No, I'm just gonna leave you here. <laughs> it's so ominous. Uh, I'm gonna ask you something. Can you click somewhere else on the map? 
Yeah. And then there'd be an option that says data. Really? Yeah, go to data. Turn 11. Okay. I think reinforcement starts spawning turn 12. So. Oh boy. Have you beaten it before uh, turn 12? I think you can beat this chapter in like 5 turns. That's crazy. I don't actually remember the turn. I know I beat him in a minimum of turns so. though. That's crazy. Um, where did you come from? Yeah, they start. the reinforcements start coming down. Oh. I forgot they spawned from the top, because they usually don't have guys over there around this time. Even if I'm playing slowly. Oh. We'll have to murder him now. Yep. Hand should be good enough. Dag to smash! Dag to smash! Dag to don't stop. <laughs> okay, so Dagda's there, blocking off the reinforcements, so that should be good. skill is really good because it basically so long as he has a higher HP and attack speed than his um, person attacking he always gets a second turn oh, yeah I'm just gonna kind of you know just leave him over there I still don't understand why people think it's a bad skill I see why, because, um, when archers are attacking Dagdar, they can be, like, you know, and he can't retaliate, then it could be a problem, but other than that, right. I'll take that downside. Definitely. <laughs> getting guaranteed kills. Well, nothing's guaranteed. Oh boy. Coming over. Yep. Meanwhile. Meanwhile, there's a guy who's about to die. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, you met him. Yeah. <laughs> I love the ring axes. You're so good. Maybe Dr. will gain a point this time. Let's see. Dude, that's the best level I've ever seen from him. <laughs> what? <laughs> Uh oh. And then Leaf dies and you have to restart the chapter. Yeah, that's, fine. that's totally gonna happen, right? I mean, it could. How does he not die from the triangle of death? Um, that is a magic attack, and I believe Leaf has zero magic. Huh. That's great. Also, you can't attack when you can't see the enemies. Oh, oh, oh. Often, I'm sorry. You could go kill one of those guys with the belt, probably. Okay. Might as well. Fire Sword's actually a much better magical weapon than Leaf's Light Sword. Okay. Because it also, besides for having 12 might, um, it also adds 5 to your magic stat. Yeah. Essentially giving it 17 attack. Oh wow. Which is pretty good. 
Thanks, it's like... Also, magic serves as magic resistance in this game as well. Okay. So, not only does it make you stronger, it makes you better against magic. So... Fire Sword's a really good weapon. Oh man, are more people gonna attack Dagdar? <laughs> uh oh. Okay. Nothing yet. He's dead. <laughs> <laughs> One. I wasn't getting shit leveled. Oh, what? he leveled up movement. Really? Yeah, that's what the when you see anim pop up on screen, that means movement got leveled up. Oh, okay. Uh oh. He should be fine unless this guy just got. Okay. Is that supposed to keep happening? Yeah, um, Othan is guaranteed a critical hit on counterattack. He's win that kind of last time. Okay. It's been a while, I know. But yeah, Othan is guaranteed to win a lot. <laughs> okay. He's considered to be one of the best units in the game for an obvious reason. Yeah, I don't want him dying on me. Another thing about criticals in this game is um, it multiplies your damage by two, but yeah. that's um, a bit of an understatement for what it actually does. It multiplies your damage before defense is applied. So even a high defense. What the? Oh, wait, that's a critical hit. It looks pretty cool in this game. That is super cool. Yo. <laughs> uh, you can escape. <laughs> Yo. These poor pirates. Yo. They ain't having a good time. Nope. It's like we were having a very interesting conversation. I like this boomerang axe. It's so good. So wait, is there any other guys coming for Dagdar? <laughs> uh, they might be finished spawning. Nope. nope. Bye. What? Yeah, they're gonna, they're starting to spawn at the bottom as well. Oh. Well then. This is kind of your cue to hurry up. <laughs> ah. Wow. That guy decided to commit suicide. <laughs> she has her iron sword. Not her sword. Huh. Yeah, um, one thing about enemies in this game. Yeah. Uh, they actually prioritize enemies that can't attack back. Oh. Okay. Um, nice. Oh yeah, he leveled up defense. That's actually really good. <laughs> nice. Every um, defense point on leaf is good. Point on leaf. Bye. Yeah, another thing about Othan. Um, his he, he has a secret um, skill called PCC. Yeah. Um, which basically um, on the second attack he does, his crit rate is multiplied by his PCC score, okay. which is three. Yeah. And his Puji gives um, thirty percent to crit. Yeah. So his second attack had a 90% chance at critting. Nice. So yeah. Basically, if you want somebody to get a critical hit, that's your guy. As you can see, Leaf's a great character that's really good and does really well on <laughs> things.
how? How did he manage to miss like that? There's one fun fact about Thracia. Um, hit rates cap at 99% and um, also are minimized at 1%. So every attack you make in the game can always have a chance of hitting and always have a chance of missing. Oh. Nothing is guaranteed so in this game. So that guy wants to die. Yeah. <laughs> Dead. Is the other one going to attack her as well? I feel like there's more. Yep. White. Okay. Oh. By the way, um, if the music changes... Yeah. ...from the normal tone, I would suggest you keep a Vel in front, because that means... Um, there's gonna be a really powerful enemy coming, and he probably could kill any of your characters if he kills him. <laughs> Just cuz? Um... He's a sword master, um, and he's equipped with a weapon called the Killing Edge, which is like Othan's Pugi, which, yeah. um, you know, increases crit by 30. Um, the Kill Edge also does that to him. However, he's a sword master, so he has a lot of skill, meaning he gets more crit. Yeah. And um, I believe he already has a PCC of 4 or 5. So he's actually really strong. <laughs> Okay. Um, but luckily for you, Evel can't die, so... <laughs> Leave, seriously? Seriously. Everybody else is doing work but you. Leaf does work in a different way. Um, what Leaf does is... He actually provides, um, when he's near people, a lot of units, not every unit, but a lot of units when he's near them, they do better combat. Okay. Like how Tanya does that to um, Austin and Dagdar, and Leaf does it to a good chunk of the cast. Okay. So he's kind of like a king in this game. I guess that's okay. the best way to describe him. Okay. Oh shit. Should be fine unless there's another guy up there. I'm gonna go heal. Yep. Level up. Yay. Look. <laughs> Meanwhile. That guy has a death wish. Dagdar smash! Dagdar smash! Dagdar not done smashing! <laughs> Dagdar SMASH! Oh, the guy gotta live. <laughs> Holy shit! That guy is determined. Capture for his axe. Sure. Why Dagdar not? might be running a bit low on axe uses. <laughs> I keep coming. Okay, so leave. Um, yeah. Back over here. Then you attack. Did your previous message go through? You're saying the accuracy is basically like Gen 1 Pokemon? Yeah, it went through. Yeah, it went through. Sorry, I wasn't looking at chat. So, hi, Kaika. Yes, it's Pitch Blackness of War. And? I'm just waiting for Shiva to pop down on like one shot. <laughs> no. Um. There. Because you're probably inevitably gonna have Shiva pop down because you're not gonna beat this turn because you're shot fast and that's the, the way it's going. Um. A little warning about him. Um, he is a recruitable character if you leave him alive. Oh. Um, I wouldn't say he's that good of a character. He's yeah. not a bad character by any means. But he's an additional character. Yeah. That's all that matters. It is possible to capture him, 
and if you capture him and don't let him go, um, he will still appear later on as a um, recruitable character. Yeah. So there is that option as well. This leaves. Oh. Wait. You don't have one. Do I have a healer? Uh, Leaf can eat a, be part of his sword if he needs to. Oh, that's right. They just keep respawning. Yeah, so ignore them. I forget for how many turns they go, I can't it out. Meanwhile, Finn's doing work as well. Yeah, Finn's pretty good. He's probably one of the better units of the game. I'm gonna eat my sword. Meanwhile, Dagdar. <laughs> Dagdar's also a really good unit. Anyone who says otherwise is bad at this game. Uh When you capture a unit, you do have a bit of problem in combat, but it's fine. Just, um, trade your items, so you get some stuff. And then let them go. They haven't maxed that. It's actually not terrible. Uh, Let's make sure Tanya's out of range, I guess. Then we'll just... Kind of worried about side. Dagdar right now. Wait, how does how does Leaf do it? Oh, um, go to your click items. Uh, click the sword. The light one. Yeah. And then uh, the second. Oh no. No. Uh, uh, go to go to your sword. I think it might be Dak. There you go. There we go. Pirates spawn from turns 5 to 9, 10 to 14, and 15 to 20. Uh, Here we go. Mmm, sword. It's delicious. Hi, Billy. Before you end your turn, click on a random space and look at it. Okay. Why your chicken when Shiva shows up? Well, you'll know when he shows up because the music will get a bit more ominous. But okay, 19? I'm just looking for the enemies to finish spawning because you got one more turn of enemies spawning. Okay. You got four more turns before Shiva shows up. Well, I'm I'm gonna go up there and I'm gonna go take the enemy base now. Take the enemy base now. Yeah. No, no one's um, died. So the boss of this chapter is actually much different than other bosses. Okay. Um, he actually has no weapons equipped. That's interesting. Um, he's a thief. And yeah, also Dagdar. Dagdar, you need to run over to Othan. <laughs> Go run, Dagdar, run. <laughs> yeah. He should be fine. But, um, just start moving him forward, I guess. But, um... You can capture him, because units without weapons can be instantly captured without combat. Okay. And if you capture him and keep him with you without releasing him, um, he will join you next chapter. Huh. Yep. So it's a really good idea to capture him. He's actually a very important character, and the main reason why you can come to this chapter, outside of another character you can have the end of Okay. Is there a little... Up? Yeah, that little path that you haven't explored yet. Up, that's where the goal is. Okay. We're good. Slowly. We are. Havon tried. Havon tried. Vaughn's a pretty bad unit. 
There's also three swordsmen up there, and I believe I can. Uh oh, you need to take the fire off. Oh, you forgot to do that. Might be a good idea, actually, if the warrior decides to pop down. Meanwhile... There's three guys up there, they're just gonna suicide. <laughs> that guy was smart! <laughs> Dagdar made it. Can I just use the Vulnerion? Nah, you have to trade it to him. Also, I can get in there with that pirate down there. He's fine. What about the fact that he can probably one shot any of your archers? Good old Marty can do this. <laughs> I believe in Marty. Marty, um, oftentimes referred to as the worst character in the game. I don't think that's true. Yeah. But he doesn't like to help my point. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay, Havan will finish him. Yeah, Leaf does exactly 12 damage with his light sword at range. That's great. Unless for some miraculous reason he decides to gain magic, which will never happen. <laughs> I know his growth rate of magic isn't that bad, but it's never happening. Goodbye, Myrmidon. It's just kind of dead. Sure, why not? You. Actually, you can go kill the warrior with her too. I could give her the door key. It actually just uses the weapon that's at the top of your list. Okay. Yeah, we're good. Oh. Oh, you could have this one. Fuck it. Have you spent all that time not doing it? I know. It's fine. There's another fire sword in chapter 10. You can in chapter 10? Yeah. <laughs> the fire sword isn't super useful. Until then, there's a. Between chapters like 4 and 7, there's a bit of a gap. Okay. Well. Ah! <laughs> 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 uh! <laughs> Dang, Dara's gonna have to step in. Show him how to do work. Dang, Dara, do it. He can't. It's okay, Marty, retreat. Hide behind Dagnar. You bring off now to do it. Pretty off your off now. Boogie. Boogie. <laughs> Othan, no! Alright, um, move Tanya right close to me. Attack. Oh, yeah, Attack. Good job, Tanya. She she leveled up. <laughs> and Othan dies. No, 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 no. no. The, the, there's oh, more. There's more to the plan. Oh, hey, she leveled up. Move. Uh, uh this guy. Leaf could also do it. It, it took, like, everybody's strength, but we did it. People say Ronan's a bad character. <laughs> <laughs> I 
equipped. What? No. There you go. Know. Okay, now it's equipped. That works. It's over there next to Shiva up atop Slippus. Oh. Uh, Shiva won't move till chapter till turn twenty three. What turn is it right now? It's turn twenty two. Oh. Is this the fortress? On turn twenty three or not? But we'll see. Is this the boss? Yeah, that's Lippus. You can capture him. And you can him. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is fan translated. Yep. Go on. Rebex is really nice. He did it. Yep. Not one HP. You need the best level ups. <laughs> Just moving. Oh, I don't think there's any more food for Spence besides for Shiva moving. Ah, uh, that's great. So what you're saying is, I hear the music changed. Yep, yep Chiba's gonna start moving now. I'd suggest getting Finn out of there, actually. I know Chiba. Uh, <laughs> huh? We'll see what happens. Wait. Yeah, start moving, Leaf. Wait, wait, wait. I never... Oh, that's right. Dagda. gonna happen. I don't know what's um, about to happen. Either Shiva's gonna run down and attack Finn or attack Evel. Or do nothing, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> he decided not to do anything. Oh, that's probably because... Um, Everyone's dead? Oh, we weren't supposed to attack him. Why? Because you can capture him. Okay, you're fine. <laughs> 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 Thank you, Haste Distance. No, you want to capture him. Okay. Shiva's not doing anything. Okay, you know why he's not doing anything, I'm pretty sure. Um, it's because his AI knows he can't beat a bell. Oh, wait, oh wait, yeah. you just capture him? Yeah, you just capture him. Should we fight Shiva? Uh, you might want to. Uh, you need to get, so... Beat the chapter, you gotta get Leaf up there. Yeah. I'm pretty sure as soon as Leaf, like, click on Shiva. That's, um, Shiva's range. Yeah. As soon as Leaf comes in the range, Shiva will probably attack him. So... Probably attack Shiva. And then catch... What you can do, um... Take a Vel, and yeah. you can, um, trade it, um... To Finn? Lipus onto Finn. Yeah. And then what you could do with that is, and then use a bell to kill Shiva, because a bell can't die. Sounds good. Let's do it. Like, you are going to miss out on Shiva later. Uh. Oh, okay. He's being an idiot. That's cool. A <laughs> <laughs> uh. bell can't die, though. Remember that. Then he saw, since he somehow dies and everything I know is wrong. <laughs> I would be shocked if that something like that fucking happened, because she has literal plot armor. It is programmed in the game for her to not be able to die. But I break games. I know. Swamp. Nope. Huh? Okay. You're good. Don't die. Well. Hey, Shiva. You were an OP unit. <laughs> kill edge? Yeah, he's got the kill edge. Alright. Then you can just take Leaf up to go capture the throne. So that was an interesting chapter. <laughs> Darkness Helm. 
Or are you happy? Are you happy enough? And nobody died. Nobody died. Well, besides Shiva. So already doing better than FE4. Technically Shiva. Oh. <laughs> These things happen. It's it's not my fault. <laughs> She's like, kind of I mean, ran up Shiva's there. She was probably the second best swordmaster in the game, yeah. but swordmasters are shit. So. Oh. <laughs> Oh boy. This is the cleric save for patches to kill? Patches. Oh wait, a healer? Yeah. Shiva is recruitable. Safi. Kaika, the bell is hard-coded to be able to dodge any lethal attack. So technically, couldn't she just solo everything? Yeah. But why did they do that? Uh, you won't get her for very much longer. I don't want to spoil too much. Uh -huh. She's also hard coded within the first the couple of Child of hunting? Child hunting? Oh yeah, um, so this was kind of established in FE4, but they're kind of, um, laying it down a bit further in this game. Um, basically the bad guys are capturing children and brainwashing them. What? <laughs> That's fantastic. Because the bad guys are cultists in this game, basically. Oh. Okay, I'm actually interested in the plot now. of the first half of FE4 was basically um, they needed to get somebody who had like a, some dark blood descent yeah. so they could use their book that was created by a dragon. Oh. Huh. Also, yeah, there's like this. That's what you get for capturing it. Hey, wait a minute. If the villagers get a hold of me, I'll be killed. Oh, he's not getting like a surf dude. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't he? <laughs> Basically, the bad guys use some genetics to create a child that could use dark dragon blood. That had dark dragon blood, so they. So that's Liphus. No. Is Liphus one of them? No. Well, Liphus is an interesting character that uh, is not very well explained, actually. But he has oh. an interesting quality. Like what an quality. asshole! Oh yeah. I find it funny. Because there's a thing that happens with Liphus later on that's amusing. Huh. With that line where he tries to get away. Okay. Oh boy. At first I thought that's in Gate of Knives. Uh, this is kind of the first big Thracia like map, I guess, would be the thing. Okay. Is there door opening mechanics? Yep. Uh, that's something that Liftus can do, actually. He has lockpicks on him and those can open doors and chests. Oh. There's also door keys and chest keys, which can do the same thing. But they do I have to free those children? Yep. Shit. And let me guess, you have to catch them one at a time. Um, yep, you gotta help them and you gotta take them back to their houses. This sounds awful. So, one of the things Stracy is known for um, is having a lot of things to do for the chapters. And let me guess, if they die, or one of them dies, bad things happen. Um, actually not really. Each child is, um, there's four houses at the bottom of the map in this chapter, and each child is designated to a house. Yeah. You get a reward if you save the child, but nothing happens if they die. Either However, way... The rewards, are, the rewards are pretty good, so I'd recommend going for them. Well, I'm not just gonna let them die. Yeah. That sounds well, it's not even letting them die, just not uh, them. These are different units. They're enemies. 
this, yep. Oh my gosh, they're everywhere. Yep. You know what I might just do is just, um, have Avel, um, capture all the children. Actually, that's not a too bad of a strategy, though. Generally, if you're playing fast, you get you make, like, chains where you just start passing them on. Yeah. Just run them down to the houses. But, yeah, no, Avel could definitely just take the children to each house. It'll take a few turns, but it's not too bad. Yeah. There are reinforcements in this chapter, and... I think they keep spawning till the boss dies. Okay. Kaika is like, oh boy, is this the chapter I think it is? Uh, maybe. Barbara? Oh yeah, no, the city, they call it, um, Barbara, which in FE4 it's called Barhara, and it's actually supposed to be Valhalla. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I like how the uh, enemy just kind of let that guy get away. Yeah, don't worry about it. He's a okay. tactician, he doesn't do anything. <laughs> so these are the houses. He just gives you backstory and tells you a good way to do the map. Oh. So there's four houses that are designated to four children. Each child gets your reward. Some of them are better than others. Funnily enough, when you play fast, you actually only go to two of the houses. Because two of the rewards are there. So here's here's how it's gonna go down. Lavelle's gonna charge for the children. Dagda. Um, actually, up there is impassable terrain that you just put a bell in. Oh. The good. black trees are impassable. Good. Th that was my strategy all along. <laughs> good job. And often I'll take these guys out. There's also um another thing Lipus can do. Yeah. Um, he can also steal items from enemies. Well, that's cool. But I'm, I'm sure he can easily die as well. Yeah. But, fun, but a fun thing about stealing items, so there's a mage in this chapter. Yeah. And, um, the, the thing about stealing, um, he has to have a higher speed than the enemy, which he, I'm pretty sure he has higher speed than every enemy in this map. And he also has a high, have to higher build than the weapon's weight. Which, yeah. there's only, there's not too much. Like, he can't steal too much because of that, because he only has six build. Yeah. Um, but there's a mage up there, and that his book weighs four, so you can just take his book and he becomes literally worthless. <laughs> yeah. Lifus is a pretty essential character. Also, items like vulneraries and stuff are weightless, so he can just take those. Oh, okay. How... how close does he have to be? Oh, well, that guy's dead. Oh, he has to be right next to them. But that won't matter if the enemy dies after you steal its stuff. Right. Or if it's a mage and just take its book so it can't retaliate. <laughs> he also has another interesting item on him that you should go take a look at in his inventory. The mage? No, the, um, Lithus. Um, the Hazel Scroll. So what this does, any unit who has that in their inventory is immune to getting hit by critical attacks. Oh, nice. And they are more likely, with that scroll in particular, they're more likely to gain HP. Okay. So you can give that to anybody, actually. Okay. Um, I believe there is 12 of those in the game. So that's your first one. get a lot of those scrolls and this will give them multiple and like a bunch of Oh. I don't understand why people don't like Dagda. He doesn't have very good growth rates. People um I don't know, people like him now, but like back then it was like people Well he doesn't grow very fast, so that means he's not good. Don't worry about the fact that his base is carrying on with your game. 
<laughs> like, I'm pretty sure he doubles every enemy up to, like, chapter 20. Wow. Not every enemy, like, sword masters, he might not double because they're really fast, but... You know what I mean. Yeah. Another thing I should mention about the capture system. Uh, mounted units can basically capture an enemy in the game that's not mounted. Yeah, also, are they allowed to walk in the forest? Mountain units get a movement penalty, but they can't walk through it. Um, but you're talking about the enemies? So that light yeah. green patch of forest actually is traversable. The dark it's... green you can't traverse. Oh. Yeah. Oh, because it's thicker. Okay. Here. Also, the mages have really shit stats early on. Okay. Poke. Finn is known for being the best unit in the game for capturing enemies outdoors. Okay. Because his Brave Lance can attack up to like four times, and he's a mounted unit, meaning as he's able to capture every enemy that's not mounted. Okay. So, he's actually really good. It also helps that he has the prayer skill, which... So if Lifus dies, can you not get in that building? You can. The game's actually smart. It gives Ivel a door key. And they also give Tanya a door key. Oh. I believe... No, they no, there should... Yeah. They give you two door keys. Um... This is to ensure you can actually beat the chapter and even save the children, even if you didn't recruit Lifus. Oh, so that, that key on her? Yeah, the key on her, it opens the door. Okay. Safi, go go meet Otham. Another fun mechanic in this game. Um, stabs can miss. Oh. That's not nice. That's great. They have a... It's a 60 plus 4 times skill um, percent chance at hitting. So at 10 skill, they have a 100% chance at hitting, but anything below that, they have a possibility of missing. Ah. Uh. Which is nice, right? <laughs> yeah! You know, you not need that heal really badly, and then, oops. It missed. Marty's doing it! He hit him. He did it. <laughs> he hit him. One thing that is special about Marty. Well, that guy's dead. Even though Marty's, like, pretty not good. Um, he has the highest build growth in the game. Yeah. Which build is used for capturing and wielding weapons well. Yeah. Um, so, Marthy, Marty and in indoor chapters can actually be pretty good. Actually, that reminds me. Another thing I should mention. So, that building up there yeah. is considered indoors, which won't mean much for most of your units, but Finn horse. won't be able to go in there while he's on his horse. I was thinking that might yeah. be the case. Like, now he's got a bell. <laughs> FE5, you're gonna die. Hi, Nintendo Addict. What's up? I believe in Marty. Believe in Marty? Actually. Capture the guy? Yes. Oh boy, let's... wait, what's... oh, okay, he had a 75% chance at hitting. And he did it. it. Marty did it. Good job, Marty! <laughs> <laughs> took a whole level out of that. <laughs> 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 He did it, man! He did it! Marty did it! <laughs> uh, is that all you have, Dagda? Uh, that's only good. That's all he has for range. I need to get Dagda a new axe. Oh, oh, for throwing. Yeah. He has an iron axe, which is good for normal combat. Whatever. 
That works. There's also, um... You. Are you ready? <laughs> don't use repair. Um, repair? Repair staff is her personal weapon. Use repair? Don't, don't use it. Oh. Um, yeah. Repair staff is her personal weapon. It will repair an item in a unit's inventory. The furthest I went in this game is past chapter one. Also, she she didn't miss, so that's good. No, she didn't miss. That's good. Nope. Um, so, repair is something that only Savvy can use. It's something that makes her kind of interesting of a character. Um, it repairs any item in the game up to full uses. Yeah. From wherever it's at. Um, you don't have to worry too much. Like, it's only kind of optimal to use it on a completely broken weapon. Yeah. But wait, what weapon. if you use it on Avel's fire sword? You could do that. Um, that is in fact a thing you can do, and it will repair it all the way back up to 40 uses. However, nice. you only get the five charges of the repair staff that comes in the game. They don't give you any more than that. Wait, you only get five uses? Yeah, you only get five uses out of it. Oh. So yeah, it's generally a good idea to use it wisely. Most oh. people only use it to repair staffs later in the game, or just good personal weapons. Okay. Like, off the it's pretty Oh yeah, I keep thinking that, yeah, that would work, but... 28. You know what? Nah, there's no point. Actually, wait, can you see what an enemy has on them? Yeah, um... You know how you can view a unit's inventory? Uh, there's a button. Um, I think it's X or Y. Oh, there, there it is. Go. You can view. You can also do that with normal characters as well. Okay. You can view everything in the game. Oh. Yep. I want you. You don't even have to capture him though. Um, you can just have Lifa steal that if you wanted to. So long as the guy dies the next turn, you won't have to worry. I'm just afraid of Lifus dying. Because <laughs> Lifus is unarmed, right? Yeah, you can give him a sword. I think Avel has an extra sword on her. That's right, Leaf has the light sword. Don't want to do that. Oh, wait. Can I give him an iron? Uh, he doesn't use axes, he only uses swords. Okay. Like, I think Avel has an extra iron sword on him. Let's say check. Yeah... Just have to move him up there. Yeah. You could, you could um, try and capture the armor with Dagdar. His, um, his hammer is actually effective against the armor, meaning he does three times the damage. Wait, no, no, it's, uh, trade. Aw, oh, yeah. Cool, dude. You can give it to Finn. You can actually use it. <laughs> okay. But Nintendo Addict, it's so much fun. Yeah. The thing you could do um, is you could try and capture the armor with Dagnar with his hammer. The hammer has a pretty poor hit rate, but it is super effective against the armor, so we probably won't shot the armor. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I don't want shot the armor. <laughs> he does 43 damage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Shot Dagnar. And then that guy's gonna get murdered. Probably. It's kind of weird. It's like you have a few really good units, and then everybody else just seems run of the mill as all hell. Um, like, like obviously a villain are good because they're pre promotes. Um, Finn's really good because of his brave lance, and that's the most notable thing about him, actually. <laughs> Um, but he's the one who needs the Brave Lance. Leaf obviously isn't good at combat, but he's good at other things. 
Uh, one thing this game, I guess, likes to do is it likes to make units kind of unique and have their own little niche. Yeah. Um, which I do like, because there are some units who are kind of similar, I guess. Yeah. But for the most part, a lot of units have their own little thing they can do. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna murder this guy, and then the hour will be up. The game also likes to take away your good units. Don't rely too much on a Vel or whatever her name is. Uh, I haven't been. Also, Nintendo Addict, you do know she cannot die. <laughs> yeah, she can't die till um, after this chapter. Actually, she technically can't die till the end of chapter 5. Okay. The hour's up. Yep. But I'm really enjoying this. Oh yeah. Yep. 